Well, instead of getting no unemployment benefits like so many, one local woman got three payments in her mailbox, all with different names on them. 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears exposes Dieter's triple pay. Imagine waiting months to receive your unemployment benefits and then they finally come. Then imagine going to your mailbox one day and getting an unexpected letter from Dieter plus two more several days later. That's what happened to Laura Fair's friend. Errors can happen. Fair is a former adjudicator who worked for 10 years at the State Department of Employment Training and Rehabilitation, or Dieter. She was recently helping that friend who was having trouble with her unemployment claim. This is so confusing. And, and they really couldn't navigate it. Laura saw that Dieter made errors, which were holding up her friend's benefits and helped to get them resolved. She's not waiting for any more money. She's, no, no, she's just receiving benefits. Which made the appearance of these three random letters even stranger. Totally different people, different names that she has never heard of. She's lived at this address for over 18 years. So it's very suspicious. The three Dieter letters came to a home inside this gated community in the Southwest Valley. You can tell by feeling in the envelopes that there are debit cards inside. If it's fraud, the fraudster is not getting the money, making Laura more suspicious that this is a major Dieter mistake. What doesn't make sense if it is fraud? Well, if it is fraud, I just don't understand how three different people <laughs> with completely different names, why would be at her address? It just, it, it, it doesn't add up. Dieter wouldn't answer our questions. Instead, they sent a statement saying, while we understand and acknowledge claimants' frustration and the need they may feel to share their information with the media in order to have their specific issues addressed, we cannot provide comments regarding inquiries related to particular claimant scenarios. So all we can do is ask former insiders like Laura how something like this can happen. She says she saw a lot of errors during her time at Dieter. Especially when you're dealing with two monitor screens and sometimes you can have four claims, which can easily make an error. You may be wondering why Laura is speaking on her friend's behalf. It's the same reason the friend didn't report the letters as possible fraud. She was also afraid that if she reported it, because she, she thought it might be fraud, that they might come after her. If unemployment wants to go after someone, it's very possible that they can. She's speaking from personal experience. Then two days after, I wrote a letter in the Nevada News regarding the unemployment system and how, the con how convoluted it was and the errors and everything. My unemployment, my PUA claim was stopped. Benefits she'd been receiving after the travel agency where she now works as an independent contractor closed due to COVID. I got sent a letter saying I should be, el I might be eligible for regular unemployment, which they already denied me. So I am now in no status. I cannot file on either claim. I cannot get through to anyone. And I am basically without any benefits at this point. You believe it's more than coincidental timing? Oh, absolutely, positively. I think that they retaliated. Pua claimant Patrick Lucero believes this is no conspiracy theory. He thinks retaliation and wrongdoing are alive and well at Dieter. It's just negligence. Gross negligence. While Dieter is sending three debit cards to random people at the wrong address, people like Patrick can't even get the one they're told they qualify for. It's, it's no rest, no sleep, uh, it's despair. Uh, it's, it's uneasiness about every day. You're, you're trying to find some kind of, of hope every day. And, and to fight, sometimes it gets difficult. Sometimes you just don't want to get out of bed. Alleged negligence and inaction spurred an ongoing lawsuit against Dieter that's playing out in Washoe County Court. It covers claimants like Patrick, described as one of more than 45,000 who are caught in what the court calls the PUA UI whirlpool. People who aren't getting anything because the lawsuit says Dieter could not decide which of two programs to pay under. Many have endured five months or more without a paycheck. To delay any further, you're going to cause families to lose their homes.
Patrick's concerns are even echoed by an Alorica call center staffer. On August 5th, Patrick hit the lottery, meaning he was lucky enough to get through to a representative on the phone who reviewed his claim and made this note. She wrote, Claimant is a gig worker, a salesman on the strip, and is not eligible for UI. This needs to be resolved immediately. This issue has triggered active issues under payment summary. He puts in a note, urgent, ASAP, pay the claim. The call center staffer wrote, active issues must be removed separately so that payment can process. Again, please remove these active issues so that benefit can be received ASAP. But instead of doing what the note directs, Dieter denied Patrick's PUA claim just days after they were instructed to pay it. I know that they're trying to find a way to deny claims, just not make payment. As a combat veteran who served in the Army, Patrick says nothing compares to this battle. Send me to, to Afghanistan and Bosnia. I'd rather, I'd rather take bullets than to take crap from these folks. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.